Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can set up acronyms and have them available in your search experience in SharePoint Online. So let me uh, tell you what I'm talking about first. So uh, let's say I'm executing a search, right? And let's just say, you know what, you are sitting in a meeting uh, and maybe somebody mentioned somewhere, you know, uh, in a meeting, a particular acronym that you're not familiar with. Maybe it's your company uh, acronym, all right? And, uh, you know, company specific and uh, um, you just don't know, you're new to the organization, you have no idea what it is. Um, you can actually set up a list of different acronyms and the explanations, all right, what they stand for. And um, once you set it up, you can have it available within the search experience in SharePoint. So for example, uh, I am right now on the SharePoint start page. Uh, of course, if I am typing whatever keyword I'm typing in, it will give me a bunch of results. But you know what? I'm going to type in this abbreviation that I heard, FIMS, F-I-M-S. I have no idea what it stands for. And I click enter and look at this. It gives me the result. It gives me, uh, it tells me it's an acronym and this is what it stands for, Financial Information Management Systems, all right? That's maybe an abbreviation we use within the organization. Or SP, SPM, all right, another abbreviation. Well, guess what? It stands for SharePoint Maven. Surprise, surprise, all right? So uh, how do we set this up? Uh, let me show you. Uh, it's actually pretty easy. Um, so, but you do need to be an admin. You do need to be an admin uh, because that's set up in the admin center. So we need to navigate to Microsoft 365 admin center. So that's what we are trying to do right now. And under show all, you want to click on all admin centers. And it gives you a list of all the different admin centers. In our case, we want search and intelligence. And you click on the answers tab. And um, so uh, there are different tabs over here. Acronyms appears by default. By the way, uh, this is where you can set up your bookmarks and uh, you know Q and A's, uh, questions and answers. I actually recorded separate videos on those. But uh, then uh, again, by default, it shows acronyms, or you just click on it. And this is where you set up the acronyms. All right, uh, pretty straightforward. You just add an acronym. Uh, add the uh, exact acronym uh, or right, abbreviation and then what it stands for. You can also add description and source um, just as additional information. This is optional, but the first two are mandatory, right? So that's exactly what I showed you here um, on the, that FEMS uh, acronym, all right? Uh, that's how I set it up, all right? So acronym stands for, and then again, this uh, optional field. And uh, once again, once you set it up, uh, you can then, by the way, you, if you have a list of acronyms in Excel or something, uh, I believe it's a CSV file, if I'm not mistaken, you can actually import a list or you, you add them manually. And again, the experience then will be just like that. All right. So the acronym, uh, not sure why it doesn't appear now. It should. <laughs> Let's try it again. Uh, uh, here we go. And just like that, the acronym does appear. All right. So that's all I wanted to demonstrate in this particular uh, video. Hopefully you found it useful. I think it will definitely uh, be great if you set something like this for your organization to make it a little bit more user friendly, right? To improve user experience for your uh, employees. Um, but again, thank you very much for watching this video. Hope to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.